I'm good. How are you? Good. Bored. Um, Bored? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really hard to sort of keep up a routine and um, I, I study as well. Um, and so I have to watch all my lectures online, force yeah. myself to sit down and stay focused. I do too. It's terrible, isn't it? <sighs> I mean, at least to me, I'm like, oh, I can't. Seven hours of, you know, but yeah, no, exactly. Um, yeah. At uni, it's so much easier to focus. Yeah, same, same. I was thinking it would be nice to, if you could maybe, if you could maybe use uh, three positive words to describe yourself, uh, and three, let's not say negative, but like challenging things about you. Challenging things and three positive things. Um, all right, positive. Let's start with the good things, right? Um, okay. I'd say empathetic. Um, maybe enthusiastic and generally optimistic. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and challenges. Uh, probably a bit of an overthinker, mm. um, very easily distracted, um, and probably something, I mean, it relates to the overthinking as well, but, uh, getting stressed out easily. Mm. Mm. So how is that for the, uh, the, um, let's say optimistic overthinker? How are these times? Um, I think, I mean, optimistically speaking, I think it's very, um, heartwarming to see, um, now that people have finally, you know, made a turn towards trying to protect others and staying inside and, um, how much enthusiasm there is for, you know, staying active and staying in contact. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm. I'm amazed seeing how well people are doing with that. Um, on the overthinking part, I don't know. I, I like to follow politics a lot. Um, and I think at this right, right now is a really big moment of um, change and reflection. Um, and we have a lot of momentum going for Definitely. Um, conversations about healthcare and stuff. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It keeps me occupied a lot. Um, because I think these are really important topics and now is a really important moment where we see what, for example, lack of a healthcare system can do to people can do when there are actual emergencies. Um, so yeah, that keeps me busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then coming from your perspective, what do you think the world would need right now? I think right now, uh, just a lot of reflection and calmness. Uh, When I look at the news, I mean, every day we get uh, new feedback on how many intensive care beds there are and that kind of thing. And I think those really, those are the topics that, um, you know, the the experts should be discussing, but don't necessarily need to be focused on the entire time. Um, Instead, the conversations that I think should be had are the ones on how our system is working and on what fronts it's failing i mean that's that's a cool kind of opportunity that might you know bring up new ways of looking at a social healthcare system or uh looking at um an income for freelancers or artists or you know there's a different way of looking at what a society needs right now Mm -hmm. Mm. yeah Mm-hmm. I, I think there are really interesting conversations to be had, especially when you mention freelancers and artists, because um, clearly they've been hit the hardest by uh, by all these measures that people have to stay inside and stuff. Um, and I've heard, like, at least with the people that I've had conversations with about, there have been a lot of mentions of things like a basic income 
um, yeah, yeah. more support for the arts and things. And is that because you said so some, in the beginning, you said like, oh, I'm so bored. Is that maybe something that you could uh, use this kind of feeling of, oh, this might be a momentum or we could change something to, uh, I mean, I don't know. You say you're interested in politics. This could be, you know, mm -hmm. a moment to organize I, uh, yourself. I, I think right now is the moment to have discussions to reflect yeah. and to yeah. focus on the future. I don't think with the, the focus is just so much on um, everyone's health and getting through these times that it's really nice that people are uniting and uh, coming together. But for change, the focus does need to lie on the future a bit more. Um, making, But making sure that we you know, use these conversations and use the ideas and uh, that we have from these times um, and push them forward. It's very interesting to see, though, how united people are right now. I'm pretty like positively surprised. Can you, can you give an example of something that touched you or moved you in the past few weeks? Um, oh, well, um, apparently one of the, um, I don't know, it's, it's uh, I think, I think it's like a horn or a tuba or something. Uh, there's a, a tuba player uh, in our building and every evening at 6 p.m. he stands on his balcony and he plays uh, Oda an die Freude and Geef mij maar Amsterdam. So, you know, very emotional songs. And yeah. the entire building stands on their balconies and in their windows and listens just to this one person playing and it's so connecting. Um, in a building where people beautiful. don't really know each other. Yeah, that's um, beautiful. So suddenly you see these sort of, I don't know, groups of people uniting and working together yeah. and stuff, and it's yeah. very sweet. Is there something, if you think about the future of, of your industry or of fashion, that you're like, actually, you know, this is could be a change that's needed for fashion as well? Is there is there a specific something you can think of that's like... I oh, mean, so many. Yeah. I, I think the entire industry is... Um, it was created from such a sort of artsy and, um, well, yeah, sort of crazy partying artsy uh, lifestyle that the entire system is based on, you know, short term contracts and uh, freelancers and a lot of insecurity and a lot of travel. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that now that none of those things are possible and um, they have you know, pretty serious consequences um, that there may be some changes that we can work on, you know, yeah. a steady income for some people, make sure that we have more um, st structured systems in which people have more stability. Um, well, and also maybe because um, you said something interesting, I think that it started from an artist's perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like it to go more in that direction. Like sometimes it's a lot about profit now, or it's a lot about how we're going to make as many sales as possible, um, and that we could go back to the to sort of the the core art form that fashion can be. But the point that you're making is really interesting because um, the the sort of artistic perspective of trying to bring fashion back to its art form can also um, can also work together with the structural perspective because if you work from the artistic perspective you can build a larger community you can work on a more local level um yes. and i think it becomes so much more personal and sustainable as well if you go through that yeah. uh, platform you know what you should do you should you should somehow thank this tuba player i don't know how but you should ha you should think of something like a like throw yeah. them a rose no, like make a sign or you should thank him because like, that's, that's so that's idea. like moving that's so yeah that's we should like, send him a concert with the entire building yes okay let me know how it how it went with your tuba player i will i will i'll send you a video of our concert <laughs> cool cool okay nice right, talking it's been nice talking to you have a good day you too bye, bye.